Mullaney, Montgomery and James lead not to titanic total. Yet another 100 from Hasib Hamid and a maiden first class century from 22 year old Matt Montgomery put knots on course for the Division 2 title on the first day at Trent Bridge after 276 for two at the start of day two. It was an encouraging restart for Durham though. Clark, out early in the day, caught by Dixon off the bottom of Matty Potts. But James stuck with Montgomery, the all rounder with a pretty easy ride as his colleague went from strength to strength, dishing out the punishment to the Durham bowlers, and soon knots were up to 300. After 92 balls as a partnership, James took their value to 50 with a single off Gibson, but Montgomery was stealing the show, and with a single off Bushnell guided down to third man, he went to his 150 from 304 balls, knots in total control. James was piling them on two. With another boundary flicked down the leg side, the fourth wicket pair was worth 100, and the number five went to his 50, scored off 86 balls, reached when he flicked Drissel away for his eighth four. Three balls before lunch, Knotts moved to 400, heading into the break on 402 for three, another great session for the title chasers. It wasn't long until the pair had put on 150 for the fourth wicket, James taking them there with a single off Drissel. They'd reached 438 when Montgomery's wonderful knock was brought to an end, followed by Potts for an excellent 178. Mullaney joined James in the middle and he set his stall out early. Matty Potts carted for six soon after Knotts had brought up the 450. He did it again to Travaskis. 500 now in sight for the hosts. And after sharing 54 balls with James, Mullaney moved them to a 50 partnership, the skipper with 36 from 34. Mullaney bludgeoned Travaskis down the ground for four more to move Knotts to 500 runs. And with a single for the very next ball, Lyndon James became the third Knotts batter to breach three figures. His ton scored off 158 deliveries. Mullaney had a landmark total of his own. 50 came from just 49 when he carted Travaskis for his third six of the innings. And he'd do it again, a fourth maximum added. And soon enough, the fifth wicket was worth 100. When they made their way in for tea, Mullaney had moved to 76. And with a score now 562 for four, he was surely starting to think about the declaration. That would have to wait the fifth wicket pair straight back into their work after the break and up to a 150 run partnership. Dot balls are few and far between, James and Mullaney running well and latching onto anything they could to find the ropes, the skipper with another boundary to bring the 600 up. He hadn't once taken his foot off the accelerator and with another single, this time off Drissel, the captain picked up a deserved 100 from just 91 balls, his side disappearing out of sight. His partner was raising the bat for a third time soon. With four swept off Travaskis, James went to 150. That over would go for 21, 12 more added off the last two balls with back-to-back -back Mullaney maximums. They refused to relent, already worth 200 when Mullaney powered Maddinson for another six. When Ben Rain finally brought the quite stunning partnership to an end, Mullaney's innings finishing on 136 from 111 balls. He took Lyndon James with him, the all-rounders 164, a new career best, not declaring on 662 for five. They virtually made the game safe after just one innings. Of the six batters used by the hosts, only Slater and Clark had missed out on hundreds. Their bowling figures made for difficult reading for the visitors. Potts, the most productive, with three for 83. Stuart Broad was straight back in the attack after his return from England duty, and straight back in the wickets too. Javaskis, LBW for six. Dixon and Borthwick looked to rebuild, but would only get as far as 35 when the opener was taken off a top edge by Broad at mid-on off the bowling of Patterson White. Drissel would stick with his captain, the pair moving the score up to 53 before the close, as Broad's delivery flew off the edge and down to third man for four. Tomorrow will be a long day for the visitors. They're trailing by 609 with eight wickets in hand, and Nottinghamshire are signing off the season in style. While they haven't mathematically sealed promotion, it would take a minor miracle for them to be denied that, and from the evidence thus far, the title too.